Hey everybody, happy holidays. Nate Eaton here with Kalama and Jordan. We are in Moreland today, just outside of Blackfoot. We're about to surprise Lolo and Desi, a young couple. They have four kids under the age of three. They have a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and in September they had twins who were born eight weeks premature. Now Lolo is working on a plumber apprenticeship during the day. He works with a plumber and at night he's taking evening classes. These guys are actively involved in the community and with their church. They've always got a smile on their face. And Secret Santa wants to help them and bless them this Christmas. So we have a few gifts for this young, growing family. We've got a $5,000 check that they can use to help get him through school. We also have $5,000 in gift cards for baby supplies. They can use that at uh, Target and on Amazon. And in here, we have a car full of diapers. And we've got all sorts of sizes from one up to six because they do have four kids in diapers and they have no idea that we're coming. Let's go wish them a Merry Christmas. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Are you Desi? Yes. And look at those babies. Hi. <laughs> so we're with East Idaho News. Okay. And a secret Santa has asked us to come and visit you all. Okay. And we wanted to wish you Merry Christmas. You've had quite a year. Yeah, we've had a big year. <laughs> <laughs> a big year right here. Look at those babies. So is your husband at work? Yeah, he is. Okay. Well, we wanted to drop by uh, a Christmas gift for you. Okay. So, Kalama, here we go. Do you want to open it or do you want your mom to? Want to open see what's in there? Uh -oh. There are $5,000 in gift cards here for baby supplies. I know you, you're probably going through a lot of diapers. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this can help get your diapers and get wh whatever else you might need. Formula, if you can find some. Or... Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. I've got one other thing for you. I'll switch you. You got, you got your arms full. You want to hold that, honey? There you go. I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We have a car full of diapers too for you that we won't make <laughs> you come outside <laughs> because it's cold, but um, we would love to bring them in for you. It's a lot, the whole okay. car is full. So, and we wow. went every size from one to six, I think, because I, I, you probably have a few in diapers, so. Yeah, I have three, so. Okay. Well, good. Do you mind if we bring those in? Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, we'll grab these for you. It's an, uh, an anonymous secret Santa. Well, hey. But you can leave him a message there if you want. Thank you. I don't know what else to say. This miracles. This will help us so much. So, so much. So thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton here with Alex and Jordan. We're outside American Heritage Charter School. We're about to surprise a student in there, specifically the student body president. His name is James. He lives with his older sister. His mom works in another state because uh, she can make more money there. So it's him and his sister during the week. And James takes the back roads to school because the brakes on his truck need fixing. He has a 97 Chevy S10 and I actually think it's that truck right there, that red one. I could be wrong, but that's his truck that he brings to school. He has a job after school. He works across the street at New Sweden Farm. He is the kid that everybody loves. He organizes food drives, charity drives. In fact, um, 
He's always willing to step forward and lend a hand. They have uniforms here at American Heritage and recently his dryer went out so he's been taking his clothes to the laundromat to make sure that they are pristine when he gets to school. So here's just one of the things Secret Santa wants to give him. This is a heavy box. There's a hundred dollars of quarters in this box for James to take to the laundromat so that he can keep his clothes nice and clean. We also have some gift cards to the grocery store, thousand dollars to the grocery store, a thousand dollars to the gas station, and three thousand dollars to the car repair shop. He's got a credit there so he can go in and get his car all fixed up, get the brakes fixed. He can get new tires if he needs them. We wanna make sure that truck is nice and safe. Uh, did I mention that he actually takes the back roads to school because he's worried that the brakes might go out and there won't be as many cars there. So it sounds like a really cool kid. Uh, nobody here at the school knows we're coming. So let's go surprise James. Hey, how are you? How are you? I'm Nate with East Idaho News. She doesn't need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. Well, nice to meet you. <laughs> Good to meet you. How's your day going? Good. How's yours? Yeah, we're glad we caught you here. You drive the red truck in the parking lot, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, figured that was yours. So we're here because an anonymous secret Santa sent us here to bring you an early Christmas gift. Like the one from last year? That person? No, I don't know. Well, I don't know that person. Did you get a secret Santa last year? No, a relative did though. Oh, okay. Uh, perhaps. I'm not sure. All I know is that I was given these, this gift to give to you, so we wanted to come and drop it off. May I? Yeah, please. Thank you. Oh, it's got weight to it. That's a lot of quarters. Thank you. We heard you might be doing your laundry at the laundromat. Mm -hmm. So that can get you through several weeks or months of clean clothes. Absolutely. I have another gift that I want to give you. And that lid just comes right off. I'll take your tag off. Oh, okay. Thank you. So that's a thousand dollars to the grocery store and a thousand dollars to the gas station. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That might go a long ways on your truck, right? Um, yeah, thank you. Okay, we have one final gift for you. What's this? Merry Christmas. Thank you. I heard you need some new brakes. Yeah, I, d I did the front ones, but you know, you need four, so. <laughs> and you you fixed them yourself? Mm-hmm. Okay. In the school parking lot. Oh, uh, did you? Because mm -hmm. I we understand you take the back roads to get to school. Well, In case there's yeah. an accident or mm -hmm. something. It makes the repairs cheaper for other people. <laughs> well, take that in. They know that you're coming and they'll take care of if you need tires, if you need any repairs to whatever, you've got an account there, a balance, and Secret Santa's gonna pay for it. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Good meeting you. Good meeting you. Wish you all the best. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I'm Nate Eaton here with Alex and Jordan. We are in Shelly today, about to surprise the Grandy family. Natalie is a mother to two children. One's three and one's less than a year old. And earlier this year, she started having pain in her knee and it was determined that she had osteosarcoma, which is bone cancer. She's been undergoing radiation treatments in Salt Lake City. They've had a lot of long drives back and forth between Shelly and Utah. Her husband's do been doing double duty to try to provide for the family along with caring with their two other children. They were recently in Arizona when their car broke down and they had no way home. So they borrowed a family member's car and they have been using a family member's borrowed car because they cannot afford a new one. And just last week, Natalie went in for surgery. They removed her leg below the knee and they actually attached her foot to her knee as part of a, a therapy, part of a uh, some way for her to recover. So she's back home. It was a 12 hour surgery. She's back home. She's as positive as can be and Secret Santa really wants to help them out this Christmas. So we have a few things for them. In these boxes, we have $3,000 in gas cards so that they can get back and forth to those appointments in Utah. $2,000 in grocery gift cards to help keep their pantry stocked up this winter. Also a $1,000 check to help pay for insurance and registration on this. 
A car, a Honda CRV. Secret Santa is giving the Grandis a Honda CRV. They can give that borrowed car back to their family member. We understand that Natalie's home right now with a friend, so we're gonna go drop off all of these gifts. Hello. Hi. Hey, you're up and about. <laughs> kind of. How are you? I'm okay. Good. Are you recovering okay? Yeah, I as best I can, I suppose. Okay, you look happy with a smile on your face. I'm very shocked. <laughs> we were actually looking out the window. Oh, <laughs> we saw you? people with Santa hats coming up. We're like, do we get the door? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we were hiding over there, and he got out of his car, and I'm like, hurry, come over here. But you saw oh, us. Okay. <laughs> so we're with East Idaho News, and my name's Nate, and this is Alex and Jordan, and a secret okay. Santa sent us here to bring you some gifts. But the most important thing we wanted to know is how you're doing, because you had a pretty extensive surgery last week, right? Or two weeks ago? It's been about three weeks Three now. weeks, okay. And how's the recovery? I'm finally getting there. Yeah? Yeah. Good. So. And they attached your foot to your knee? Yes. How, what, what, how, explain the process is, is behind so, that. So, um, the surgery is called rotation plasty, and they use your ankle joint as your new knee joint. So for me, since I had cancer right there in my knee, the knee wasn't salvageable, so the ankle was able to make it so I could have more movement when I have a prosthetic later down the road. Oh wow, so that's to prepare you for it to get eventually a prosthetic leg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me give you these gifts. This is gift number one. Is this your baby or a friend's baby? This is a friend's baby. Oh, okay, how are you? Girl, you don't have to come out to the cold, it's daddy. cold. But you have a young one too, don't you? I have two. Two, yeah. okay. Well, go ahead and open them. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a thousand dollars that you can yeah. use towards your medical bills or you can use well, we for We definitely anything. have a couple of those. I'm sure you do. A lot of travel back and forth between here and Utah. Yeah. We may have to travel for prosthetic and stuff as well. <gasps> Is this for Brolems? Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's guys. 500 on all of those. Oh, so wow, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Speaking of the travel, that's the yeah. gas cards can help and we want you to have a full fridge this winter. So, thank you. pantry. And I've got one more thing for you. Oh, there's more. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> That's the key to that Honda CRV right there. We heard your car broke down. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Are you using a borrowed car right now? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not anymore. It's a, a 2020 CRV that Secret Santa asked us to deliver to you, so we're gonna leave it here. Um, okay. The thousand dollars there will pay for your for the registration and your insurance, but all of the taxes, all the other fees have been paid. You don't have to pay any anything out of your pocket. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, you guys are angels today. Thank you. Well, we're just the deliverers, so. Well. Delivery angels. <laughs> yes. The Secret Santa might be watching if you did want to say anything. Thank you so much. This has been a huge blessing. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's huge. All of it. Merry Christmas, everybody. Nate Eaton here with Bob Patton and Jordan Wood behind the camera. We are about to give a really cool gift from Secret Santa to a woman named Beverly. Beverly has taught piano lessons for years. She's a devoted teacher who's passionate about cultivating the love of music in kids. She teaches piano to over 50 students each year, and she's always organizing recitals for retirement homes, local veterans, and their families. Years ago, her husband divorced her, and around the same time, her teenage son was killed in a tragic baseball accident. She has another son who's often hospitalized and when she finally found love again about two years ago her fiance passed away after only a few months when he was diagnosed with cancer. She took care of him in his home until his death. She often said that he was the love of her life. In spite of it all she's positive and hopeful and loves to teach and inspire. 
She lives on a very strict budget as teaching piano is her only source of income. Last year, her elderly mother moved in with her and she somehow manages to take care of her while juggling piano students beginning at 6 a.m. before school and then well into the evening after school. She has a small, humble home, which countless kids go to every day for lessons, and she has an old, small, rickety piano, which is probably only worth a few hundred dollars. She works so hard, she never complains about anything, but she's often mentioned that her dream is to one day have a new, nice piano. That's exactly what Secret Santa is going to give her. We have a certificate inside this box for her to get the piano of her dreams up to $15,000 at the local piano store. She doesn't know that we're coming. We're going to go give her this amazing gift. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm doing good. Are you Beverly? Yes. Well, we're here for our piano lessons. Well, come on in. <laughs> we're, we're glad we caught you home. We understand you're one of the best piano teachers in Eastern Idaho. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> How long have you been teaching? 35 years. Oh, my word. By the way, I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Yeah, I'm really totally scuzzy because she just got done with volleyball. <laughs> oh, you look good. We came at the perfect time. So do you, when do you teach lessons? I teach early in the morning, like from 6 to 8 before school, and then from like 3 to 7. Just all different hours because kids are in school. Come on in. It's warmer. Uh, are you not okay? Yes, come on in. Oh, and this is the piano. Yeah, two of them. <laughs> oh, you have two? Okay. This that... is my studio. So how long have you had this piano? Oh, there's a good story behind that. Yeah? <laughs> I got it um, when I was first married over 45 years ago, and it was an older couple, and they were just selling it. They'd had it already probably 30 years themselves. Oh my gosh. And I got a really good deal on it. Like, like $100 back 45 years ago was a lot of money, but still, I got it then, and I've taught and had it ever since, so. So how many kids do you think have played on that piano over the years? Oh, I can't even tell you. And I have seven kids, and I taught them. Yeah. But um, I have 50 students right now. Right now you have 50? Yeah. So probably yeah. every year around that same amount. Uh, more so since my kids grew up. When my kids, I had seven kids, so when they were home, I couldn't teach quite as many at a time. Well, the reason we're here is because a secret Santa locally heard about you and asked if we could bring you an early Christmas present. This is like unbelievable. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna give you this gift right now. This is unbelievable. I told you I have the best, I got the best parents and the best kids. That Am I supposed to open yes, this? Yes, we'd love to see you. That lid just comes right off. Just pop, pop it right off. There you go. Okay. Secret Santa surprises piano. Beverly Secret Santa. <laughs> Mom, where'd you go? <laughs> oh my God. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh my God. This is a dream. A we dream heard your dream was to get a new piano. Is that right? Yes, but I knew I never could. She's I'm single. I never could do that being single. Oh my gosh. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. You, you go into piano gallery, $15,000 credit in your name. You choose any of those pianos, they'll deliver it. They'll set it up for you. And you can continue to teach to your heart's delight. This is amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you, whoever secret Santa is. This is just amazing. This is something I never would have thought would ever come true, ever. So I just keep tuning my good old piano. <laughs> Can we hear you play a Christmas song? Yes, I would love to. Mom, I have a gift to get a piano. An anonymous secret Santa asked us to come and deliver the good news that he wants to buy her a piano, a new piano. Oh my gosh. It's like, wow, I'm just getting a Christmas song in here. So we want to hear her play. <laughs> okay. This is from, <laughs> so this is from an hear. angel. Angels we have heard on high. Ready?
beautiful. <laughs> oh, this is like so exciting. <laughs> Well, we hope you guys have a good Christmas. Can we give you a hug before yes, we go? Yes, She yes, teaches yes. 50. Hug here. <laughs> thank you. Oh, there we go. Get Grandma oh, in here. Yes. Yes. Being hugged by yeah. a young lady. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> After 80, I'm 86. I'll take that in. <laughs> well, they'll take hugs, too. <laughs> thank you, honey. Oh, it's good looking, <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I'm Nate Eaton here with Robert and Jordan. So excited about this secret Santa surprise that we're about to pull off. We're in Shelly today, about to surprise a girl named Anna Lee. Anna Lee has a huge heart. For over a year, she saved her money to buy a mailbox for kids to send their letters to Santa. She finally accomplished her goal to buy one. For the last three years, she's written to Santa to ask if her mailbox can be a certified drop box. This means the elves pick up the letters each night, and if the letters have a return address, Santa returns the letters back to the kids. She takes pride in this gift that she gives to others. Well, last year, the wind blew her mailbox over. It broke in several pieces. She and her dad have pieced it back together as well as possible, but it still leaks and the lights on the mailbox don't work. She is heartbroken. She's gone to a few businesses asking to help make a new box, but they are very expensive. She would love to have a new box to keep her and other kids' Christmases magical. Well, our secret Santa wants to help this little elf. So here's what he got her. First of all, $500 to an office supply store so that she can buy papers and envelopes and stamps to help respond to those letters for Santa. We also have $500 to a craft store because she needs to decorate her brand new mailbox. And rather than try to pick one out for her, we're giving her a $1,000 gift card that she can go online and choose any mailbox she wants, any sort of However she wants to design it, however big or small she wants it, she can then decorate it and have a brand new place for people to drop their letters off for Santa. So, school's just got out. We hope that Anna Lee is home. Let's go surprise her. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. We're looking for Anna Lee. Oh, that's me. That's you? How are you doing? Good. Good. How are you? Are you Anna Lee's mom? I am. I'm Jerda. Jer Jerda? Jerda. 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 Yes. Good nice. to meet you. I'm Nate. Come on in. This is Robert and Jordan. So, Jerda, we heard that you help Santa at Christmas time. Yeah. What do you do? Um, I put a mailbox um, at my mom's friend's place. She makes like protein shakes, and she's honestly helped me a lot with this. So. So what? Do, what do people do with the mailbox? Um, people write letters to Santa to what they want or just anything and they just put it in there. So they'll respond to the letters for Santa. So if someone like leaves an envelope or an address, mm -hmm. they'll get a letter back. Yeah. And you yeah. help out with all that. Yeah. So what gave you this idea? Um, me and my mom were at Home Depot looking for some stuff to fix our house because we were at the process of building and um, I saw it and I just knew instantly that I got a sign that says you need this because it was 75% off and it was Black Friday and my mom's like okay maybe if you get it for Christmas then the next day I went into the garage and I found it and so yeah <laughs> so she got it for you yeah. to, no, to no, give no. it and I kind of paid for it too. oh you bought it okay yeah. so it's a special mailbox yeah. and and it's you've been doing this for how long oh, three years oh wow and you're doing it again this year yeah so I heard that the wind blew it over and what happened? It got damaged. Um, we duct taped it together. We're trying to find a place to like kind of fix it up so it will be heavier and won't tip over. 
but it's surviving this year, so. The wind never blows in Shelley. Yeah, mm -hmm. the snow, it, the snow is, yeah. Yeah. Well, a secret Santa heard you were helping Santa and asked us to come and surprise you. So I want to hand over this present to you. Am I okay to open it? Of right course, now? we'd love to see you open it. So that's a $500 gift card that you can pass along to the elves that respond to these letters to get paper or envelopes or stamps, any of the supplies that are needed. That can hopefully help. Okay, we have another gift for you. Robert's hiding it behind his bag. So those, that's a that's a thousand dollars, I believe. Oh, five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. So that's five hundred dollars to the craft store for you to maybe decorate your mailbox or make Christmas crafts, however you want to use that to spread Christmas cheer. And then here's your last gift. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Now that's a thousand dollars for you to go buy a new mailbox if you if you want one. We didn't dare try to pick it out because we didn't know if there were specifications, but they have a large variety on there. So you can <laughs> you can take off the duct tape, you can take it off, order a brand new one, use that card to decorate it, and then respond to help respond to all the kids that write letters. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for doing what you're doing. And for people that want to drop off letters that might be watching, where can they go? Sweet Life Nutrition, just in the middle of Shelly. Okay. You might see an influx of letters coming. Okay. All right. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Good meeting you. Thank you, guys. Everybody, Nate Eaton here, and it is snowing. Beautiful way to <laughs> celebrate Secret Santa. I'm here with Alex and Jordan, and we have another great surprise. We're outside Sunnyside Elementary School in Idaho Falls. We're about to surprise one of the receptionists here at the school. Her name is Teresa, and let me tell you a little bit, a bit about Teresa. She has been in pain for decades. She's had multiple surgeries, but nothing has helped. She started losing the use of her hands about 40 years ago. They thought it was carpal tunnel, so they did surgeries on both hands, but that didn't fix it, so they thought it was arthritis. It wasn't until they did an MRI that they found she has a malformation. Basically, her brain was too big for her skull, and she, it had grown into her spinal cord. This made it so that her spinal fluid could not travel the full length of her spine, causing her to lose feeling and ability in her arms and hands. They did a surgery to remove part of her skull and raise her brain back up. Unfortunately, the damage had been done and she never regained mobility or feeling in her hands. They've had to do multiple surgeries over the years. They've never been able to fix it. And this has caused other issues, including sleeping issues. She has to use a special machine when she sleeps at night in order to help her sleep through the night so that she maintains oxygen in her body. And this machine costs hundreds of dollars a month to maintain and have. In, and she needs it. It's a medical device that she needs in order to live. So Secret Santa wants to help Teresa out. Every person we spoke with said they love Teresa. She's the sweetest, most kind person you'll ever meet. Again, she's the receptionist here. Secret Santa has a check for them for $20,000. That will pay a lot of months, several months for this machine so that she can get a good night's sleep and continue to help the kids here at Sunnyside. So she has no idea we're coming. Let's go get buzzed in. Thank you. Hi, Teresa. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? We're here at the school to surprise somebody today. We're hoping you can help us track okay. them down. I sure can. Okay, last name starts with an R, ends with a Itchardson. Oh no, really? You're really? Be kidding me. No, I'm not kidding. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> yeah? Feeling good today? <laughs> Yes, I'm embarrassed though. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. We're here because a secret Santa asked us to bring you a gift. Oh, gosh. So <laughs> I'm going to hand this right over to you. Oh, this is so crazy. 
crazy. <laughs> you need help opening it? You got it? I got it. What? What? <laughs> what is this for? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's twenty thousand dollars for it you. It is a lot of money. Oh my gosh. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> We hope that can help you guys with what, whatever you need for your medical or if you want to go on a vacation and create some memories, if you want to do something. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness sake, I never thought anything like this would happen to me. <laughs> well, today it did. And we're glad to see you. Can I give you a hug? Yes. Thank you. Have a good holiday. Thank you. You too. Okay. You have a great day. You too. Thank you so much, you guys. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. We are continuing to bless people in Eastern Idaho with a million dollars from an anonymous secret Santa. My name is Nate Eaton and I'm here with Alex and Jordan and we are in Idaho Falls today about to surprise a young man named Jerry. Jerry is an engineering student studying here from Ghana. He's in his senior year hoping to take his degree back to Ghana and bless the lives of his fellow countrymen. He recently received word that his father had passed away. It was devastating for Jerry and his entire family. Jerry's roommates have loved and cared about him. They decided to take him on a hiking trip to get him away from thinking about this devastating news. Halfway through their hike, they came upon a well-known stream which offered an opportunity to cool their feet and take a swim. Jerry took that opportunity and decided to swim but went a bit further into the water. In a matter of time, his roommates noticed that he was nowhere to be found. He had suffered a seizure while in the water and went under. Fortunately, two emergency room workers who happened to be swimming nearby helped Jerry pull him out of the water, and after several attempts, they resuscitated him. But his brain had been without oxygen for approximately 15 minutes. He was in a coma for several days before miraculously waking up. He's been in and out of Ermac and other healthcare facilities. The doctors have said it's a miracle that he survived. And since that drowning, he has been steadily and slowly recovering at his bishop's home in Idaho Falls. Though he can't remember the trauma of the accident, he has regained the majority of his memory and he is hoping to return back to school in January. So Secret Santa wants to help him get ready to go back to school, here's what we have in these boxes. Secret Santa's paying his rent, $1,500 to his apartment complex, first semester rent is covered. We also have uh, $1,000 to Kohl's so that he can go get clothes, back to school clothes. He basically doesn't have much. We also have $1,000 to the grocery store and a $5,000 check for him to, to pay tuition, hopefully for the last year of college, so that he can get that degree, he can return home and bless those around him. So again, he's recovering at his bishop's house. Uh, the bishop doesn't know we're coming. He, of course, Jerry doesn't know we're coming. No one really knows we're coming. Let's go surprise him. Hello? How are you? Are you Jerry? Uh, yeah. Jerry, I'm Nate with East Idaho News. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah? Do you mind if we come in for a minute? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. You look good. You're yeah. up walking around and... Uh, yeah? I'm, not, I'm pretty good. Well, we're here because a secret Santa asked us to come and bring you a present. An early Christmas present. I didn't know about this. Yeah, well, good, because it's a secret. You weren't supposed to know. Not a lot of people know. Well, so thank you. I want to give you this present. Okay. That lid just comes right off. We'd love to see you open it. Oh. There we go. Oh, wow. This is a check of... $1,500. $1,500. To Rockland Apartments. Is that where you're living in the winter? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so your rent's been paid for the semester. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Well, I'm, very, I'm very glad. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much to Secret Santa. <laughs> yes. Can I give you one other present? Is, is there more? There's more. Here, set that up here. Okay. Just take the lid off. Just take the lid off, yep. Yeah. 
kind of shaky. Do you know what Coles is? Uh, uh, so, so they they sell clothes. Okay. Clothes and things like that. This is a thousand dollars to Coles. Wow. That's to get you anything you might need to wear: clothes, shoes, okay. coats, okay, even like towels for the okay. bathroom, things okay. like that. Okay. And then underneath that. Do you know what Rollums is? Yeah, I know Rollums. There's a thousand dollars to the grocery store. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> this is a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. The Thank you. The Secret Santa wanted to spread an early Christmas gift to you. And Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank okay, you. we have one more thing for you. Okay. What? There's more. There's more. <laughs> there you go. Take it out. Yep. All right. This is another check. Of oh, oh. five thousand U.S. dollars. What? You <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> Who is behind this? <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> Thank you so much. Whoever is behind this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. They might be watching if you wanted to say anything. Uh, uh, where will I give me this money? Uh, I'd like to say thank you. I appreciate your generosity, your love, and your you care to 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 me eh, during my accident and this Christmas present. Thank you. I appreciate. It. I appreciate it. It's so good to meet you. We're glad you're doing better. We hope you have a very merry Christmas. Thank you. And we can't wait to see you get your engineering degree we'll and bless so many people around the world. I will do that. All right. Merry Christmas. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, sure. Thank Christmas. you so much. You're welcome. Good to meet you, Jerry. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank okay. you.